Hello UNCW, welcome to Seahawk Central News. I'm Tandis Flores. And I'm Sydney Bouchelle, filling in for Holly McGrory. Today we'll talk about an armed march in Wilmington. As well as an update on the Brexit and Super Bowl commercials. Get ready UNCW, Seahawk Central News starts now. The Revolutionary Black Panther Party held an armed march against genocide and terrorism on Sunday, January 29th. The march took place at the New Hanover County Courthouse. They marched for the three African Americans killed by Wilmington police in recent years. The marchers were armed with 10 loaded guns. New Hanover Sheriff's deputies later confiscated the weapons. Weapons are prohibited on courthouse grounds. No one was charged for carrying the weapons, and deputies have returned eight of the 10 guns to the marchers. The British lawmakers voted yes last Wednesday to a parliamentary bill that will move forward with plans with Brexit, or Britain's exit from the European Union. The new Prime Minister, Theresa May, will have the go-ahead to start the two-year negotiations with the European Union after the bill is passed. A detailed outline was published this past Thursday. The process does not stop here. CNN says the bill will reach the House of Commons this week, where members will rise and propose the amendments. The bill is expected to under undergo criticism due to differing opinions on whether or not to leave the European Union. May recently delivered a speech on which she encouraged and promoted the bill. She wants free trade agreement, and May also says she hopes to start the negotiations in March. A man dressed in all black in a ski mask opened fire at a mosque in Quebec City on January 29th. The gunman killed six and injured eight before fleeing the scene. Authorities captured the shooter and identified him as 27-year-old French-Canadian citizen Alexandre Bissonnette. A member of the mosque told authorities Bissonnette scouted the scene several days before. He pretended to be interested about learning Islam. Bissonnette has been charged with six counts of first-degree murder. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says shooting was a terrorist attack on Muslims. He also reiterated Canadians' open stance on migration. SCN reporter Fiona Vanderster has a scoop on the 2017 Super Bowl commercials. Here's this week's edition of Teal Talks Money. Thank you, Sydney. A 30-second Super Bowl commercial now costs companies $5 million. The cost increased from $4.8 million in 2016. It has also doubled from $2.4 million since 2007. Studies show 60% of Super Bowl ads don't raise revenues. Why do big companies spend so much for so little in return? One answer is brand recognition. Some also say it is simply for the vanity of wealthy companies. Back to you, Sydney. Thank you, Fiona. Step Up for Soldiers has selected a UNCW freshman, Jackson Ertle, to live in a home at a reduced cost. The Edward Kramer House is specifically for Wilmington area veterans pursuing a college degree. An official ribbon cutting ceremony for the home was held on January 14th. Step Up for Soldiers is an organization that builds and modifies homes to make them easily accessible to veterans. UNCW's Office of Military Affairs and vo other volunteers from the university helped make this dream a reality for Ertle. Half of the family's rent will be returned to help Ertle's family buy or build a home of their own at the end of their stay. SCN reporter Bria Perry interviewed UNCW's all-female a cappella group, the Seabells. The Seabells were the first UNCW a cappella group to compete in the International Coll Collegiate Championship of a cappella. Here's this week's edition of Seahawks Spotlight. Hi everyone, I am here interviewing the Seabells live from their rehearsal exclusive. Hey! <laughs> um, so I'm just going to ask you guys to introduce, introduce yourselves first as the executive board of the Seabills. Hi, my name is Sarah Morrison. I am the treasurer of the UNCW Seabills. Hi, I'm Maddie Catrone. I'm the music director. Hi, I'm Brianna Ross. I'm the vice president. Hi, I'm Haley Norris. I'm the president. So, if you guys know, don't know what the Seabills is, they are the all-girl a cappella group on campus. We have three on campus. We have the High Seas, which is the all-boy group, and the Sea Acapellas, which is boys and girls. And now we have the Sea, the sea Bells, which are all girls, as I just said. Um, so you guys came back, just came back from the ICCAs, which was like two, three weeks ago. So can you just briefly describe what that was about and you know how it went, all that stuff? Um, well, we were in the quarterfinals. Um, so we had to submit a video submission online um, and then went to Florida for the quarterfinals and competed against eight groups um, and ended up doing pretty well, um, not placing in the top two, which are the two groups um, who advanced to semifinals. Um, but we did really well overall, um, learned a lot from the experience. So, so besides you guys being an all-girl group, uh, what kind of differentiates you guys from the Seacapellas the and the High Seas? 
Um, I don't, I, I mean, it's hard to say in terms of like, we, we don't know what it's like for them, so we don't know what their rehearsals are like, but um, I just know that like, I feel that we are so organized and we are really um, focused on, you know, what we're doing and we make sure that everybody knows their part and we get things done within a specific time frame. Um, and I, like I said, I don't know about the other groups, but I know that like we work really hard um, on these things and our music director always like brings out such an amazing arrangement. So I think that um, the fact that all of our girls are able to do that, and this year we've incorporated beatboxing so that every girl at least has a little bit of a taste of what, um, of how to beatbox. So I think that's also a unique thing too, is that we can say that you know we all have at least learned how to beatbox. So I love it. Great. Yeah. Right. Um, so lastly, uh, what events do you have? Do you guys have coming up that UNCW faculty and students can come and support? Well, actually, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> we have an event on Saturday. Um, it's free to everyone, free to the public, um, students. Um, it's at 7 p.m. in Keenan. Um, doors open at 6:30, and we have all the acapella groups coming from on campus. We have dance company, PG, and then we brought in um, an acapella group from ECU and. State, so mm. it should be a lot of fun. Um, what is it called? Lisa. Okay. <laughs> sounds like it. Well, you heard it here, folks. Um, it was great to talk to you guys. Uh, stay tuned. Yes. 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 Thank you. <laughs> stay tuned. We're gonna have live footage from the rehearsal from the executive, the executives, and the rest of the Sea Bells girls. Thank you guys for talking. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> I'm a long time traveling here below. I'm a long time traveling away from home. I'm a long time traveling here below to lay this body down. To For more information about Seahawks Central News, follow at UNCW Till TV on Instagram and Twitter. Like UNCW Till TV on Facebook and subscribe below. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Tandis Flores. And I'm Sydney Bouchelle. See you next week, Seahawks.